I actually grew up on a dairy farm a couple miles east of Clarksville. Our families grew up together in Butler County Farm Bureau. Clear back to when there were township meetings and you'd meet in people's homes and we were like the little kids running around the meeting knowing each other as our parents served in Farm Bureau. I just kind of fell in love with the whole dairy industry and thankfully the neighbor girl that I kind of took a, a liking to was, was had a similar mindset. I, I know we showed cows against each other long before we were dating and sometimes you, you get drawn to something just by early experiences. But we both had our 4-H herds Yes. and so I brought my Holsteins to his Guernsey herd and we told people um, that our dairy herd was a result of a mixed marriage. Yes. And yep. so that's uh, how our herd started. In fact, in the barn yet today, you can find cows that trace back to a cow I bought as a 10th grader and, and a cow I bought yep. as a junior in high school. When we first got married, we'd been friends and then we said, we, got, we need to set some ground rules of sorts. And so we decided if there were any real big decisions, that that would fall on me, that I would make the decision and all the small decisions you know that you know she could handle and the amazing thing is we've never had a big decision in 42 and plus years of marriage <laughs> and it seems to be working right yeah <laughs> when we moved back and we were first married we were involved with the young farm bureau member you know activities both at the county and at the state and I got on the county board and uh, went up through uh, you know, some of the leadership positions. And, and I, I'd seen that example from my dad and my mom uh, were both active in Farm Bureau. And I've been uh, blessed to be chosen to be voting delegate the last few years and represent Butler County to the state. And uh, it's just, it's, it's an honor for me to, to take the message from our membership down there. You, you do it to serve, but it's what you get back that makes it yeah. Those friendships and both yeah. in Farm Bureau service and our dairy service, we have friends across the country because of that and we're very blessed with yeah. that. Early on we decided to prioritize that number one was faith, number two was family, number three was fun, and number four was farming. And I think if you can keep your focus, I mean we have great adventures we've shared through the years with our boys and now with our grandkids, mm -hmm. with our parents. It, we're just pretty thankful what God has given us. Yep really humbled and honored to re receive this award. I, I guess I really am amazed that uh, my fellow Butler County Farm Bureau uh, board members and my father-in-law and whoever all else is responsible for nominating us did so. And, uh, you know, I think it's, it's fitting that uh, Pam and I win this together. We've always worked together and I think we should win together. I echo what Dave says, I mean, to receive an award for distinguished service is indeed humbling. Um, I'm just so honored to continue this legacy that my dad actually received this award, award in 1994. And just thank you so much for this. I guess Dave and I, when we got the call, felt a little bit about like Annie when she said, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So thank you so much for honoring us.